Breaking news tonight, Immigrations and Custom Enforcement has reported re reportedly released more than 218,000 illegal immigrant families into the United States since the end of last year. A Homeland Security source telling the Washington Examiner's Anna Giartelli that the greatest number of illegal uh, family members were released in Texas, 82,000 of them in the San Antonio region, 75,000 in the El Paso region. Acting Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Ken Cuccinelli says Trump administration officials are clamping down on the oft-ignored requirement that asylum seekers must first seek safety in their home country. Cuccinelli reiterating that the requirement is not a new policy, it is the latest in the administration's efforts to follow the law, to enforce the law, to secure the border, and the lawsuits and judicial activism undercutting the president's border security efforts, notwithstanding that's the way they're going to proceed. Joining me now, Tom Holman, former acting director of Immigration Customs Enforcement, also Fox Business contributor. Tom, great to have you with us. How should we interpret this? Uh, the ICE let 218,000 immigrant families uh, loose in the country? Well, there's a couple of ways you can interpret it. First of all, they have to release them because of Florida settlement agreement. They can't hold for more than 20 days, and it's not time enough to see a judge. Right. And Congress has never funded ICE enough family detention beds. So, again, Congress failed to close that loophole on Florida settlement agreement. Congress has failed to give ICE enough money to have more family detention beds. But the second part of this, ICE needs to go out there and find those family units, have final orders in a large-scale operation mm -hmm. and remove them. I've, I've been saying this, Lou, you and I have been talking about this yep. for a year now. And, and it needs to happen because until you show a consequence, until you show deterrence mm -hmm. that if a judge orders you removed, you're going to go home. And we're going to make sure you go home. And Central America needs to see those planes coming home. You know, uh, the president talked about interior enforcement. You've been talking about it. Uh, I, I, Mark Morgan, uh, the acting head of uh, uh, Border Protection, uh, Customs and Border Protection, uh, it, it just isn't happening. What's the reason it's not happening? Because as you mentioned, Congress, you and I and everyone watching this broadcast knows that this Democratic Congress isn't going to lift a finger to help Donald Trump no. secure the border and enforce immigration law. So they've got to do it on their own. Yeah. And you and I have talked about many times, the courts aren't helping them, except very rarely. Right. And, and certainly Congress isn't going to help them. So we need to do everything we can within, the, within the, 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 the boundaries of the law. Ken Cuccinelli is doing exactly that, the, the way just right. you opened the segment with. He's right. going back and he's going to force all the laws he can within CIS. And that's the same thing the Border Patrol needs to do and ICE needs to do. So ICE needs to go out there to national operations. I know ICE is hurting for resources because they're dealing with the crisis on the border. But you know what? They, they got 7,811 special agents in ICE also that has Title Eight authority. So bring some of them over to do this operation. We have to do it. It worked for me in FY15, Lou. It, it consequence deterrence works, and we need to have it. We need to have it. It needs to be large scale, not a little bit here, a lot of bit there, across the country. Well, let me, let me return to, the, to my question. Why isn't it happening? The president wants it to happen. Uh, Cuccinelli, uh, Morgan... Uh, they want it to happen. What's the reason it's not happening? I do not know. I mean, when I was judge director, I just did it. I didn't look for approval from the department. I didn't look for approval of the White House. I did my job. There's, there's 7,000 deportation officers in ICE. Deportation officers. Right. Their job is to execute What are they doing right now, just out of curiosity? 7,000 people filling jobs that, by the way, I know full well that... That just isn't happening. So what are they doing? Well, I know they're working hard. You know, we got, they got over 4,000 jails. They need to respond to the rest of those criminals before they hit the, hit the streets. For sanctuary cities, we lost that efficiency in the jail. So if, to right. release a criminal alien, you no know, one agent can sit in a county jail, Lou, and process 10 criminals in one shift. But when that sanctuary jail releases them, now a whole team needs to go out into the community and find that criminal alien. So sanctuary cities have really hurt the efficiencies when ICE operations. All right. Tom Holman, always good to have you with us. We appreciate it. Thank good you. Good to see you, sir.